Hey there everyone, it's Rybor here from the Beaten Track. Today it's a long weekend and we are hitching up the caravan and we're heading out to the uh, Nimboy Binderay National Park um, camping at Platypus Flats. It's going to be beautiful. Um, so jump in, stick about and uh, come along for the ride. In the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon. Yeah, we really appreciate you uh, doing that for us. So uh, let's go. <laughs> Just come up the Eastern Dorigo Way um, from Caramba. It's a really windy road all the way up through there. It's a beautiful sort of subtropical rainforest, so it's very pretty. Um, just coming out up onto the plateau now, um, and pretty close to a town called Yulong. We're going to go there. It's a nice little uh, village up in the hills. Um, they've got a cool little um, ex services club, so it's a um, good place to stop for lunch. So we're going to go there and have a bit of lunch, maybe a cold drink too. Valley there, and uh, down there is the tavern. Oh, we're gonna go and have lunch. Actually, it's the next service. Pretty windy up here at the moment. Just pulled up here at the uh, Yulong X Services Club. Not entirely sure they're open, but we'll go have a look. Looks like they're closed. They're open. Pretty nice outlook from the back of the uh, X Services Club. I think we've got this place all to ourselves. It's pretty much empty, and no wonder it looked closed. Cheers. Doesn't get much better than this. How's that for a burger? Just set up camp, got the van all sorted, unpacked, and this place is amazing. It's so beautiful. You got the river running right past here. You can hear it right there now. It's beautiful. So each of these little campsites has their own little fire pit, table, and as you can see, they're right down on the uh, on the river here. So nice, so pretty. And this is our setup. Got the van unpacked. Ready to chill. Look at that flooding. Oh, man. Two major floods in 18 months. So this is where we're standing now. They've copped a pretty hard time lately. Floods back in 2009, 2013. And then uh, fires. 2019, 2020. So forget rubbing two sticks together when you're trying to start a fire. You can't beat this thing here. So butane cam with a little um, flame throw on top of that. And uh, you have your fire started in no time at all. How good is this? Awesome. Cheers. <laughs> it's fire cranking. Beautiful spot on the river. So nice. So I just want to jump in here and show you one couple of things with the caravan. 
Uh, one being this um, this temporary light. It's just a one meter um, LED strip from King's 4x4 Supercenter. Plugs into the uh, 12 volt strip, which is great. Works fine for now. Um, but I am gonna have a, like a longer LED strip that pretty much runs down the length of the caravan underneath the uh, awning here. Um, and that'll give me more light over the cooking area. So at the moment, it's a little bit dark. So um, that'll work really good once I've got that put in. So, so as you can see there, there's that that LED light there. It doesn't cover the full length of the van. It's only that one section. So this cooking area is actually a bit dark. Um, you can see just under the uh, door here that I've got some light coming out. I've mounted an LED light just under there. It works really good. So like, you know, at night, if you need to take a pee, you can just flick that one on, illuminates underneath the door there. Uh, works really well. Trail. Come on. He's alright, he can go up the tree. At least that way he's, he's away. So it's the first morning here at uh, Platypus Flats, and we've just come for a quick walk um, up past our caravan. There's like a little walking trail there that opens up into this beautiful, uh, deep sort of swimming area. It's really, really That's nice. Just, One thing I've noticed around here, there's lots of uh, Goannas, um, seen some blue tongue lizards. Actually, just saw a couple of. Uh, I saw one goanna just swimming across the water there. So, watch out for those ones. But there's probably a few black snakes around too. They like these sort of areas, so have to keep an eye out for those ones. Nice little one. It's not huge. It's only fairly small. Now this is life, isn't it? Pretty amazing little spot here at Platypus Flats. Just had a swim before. Water is super refreshing, so nice. Caravan is just up the back there. The creek just here. Such a nice little spot, beautiful. So that there's the uh, Titan draw system that we've got, which is awesome, it's worked out really well. This uh, fridge slide makes a perfect table just for putting on our water bottle and sun cream and any other bits and pieces that we want. Um, the drawer on the left, I've just been using um, for my tools and things, stuff that I don't really access that often because I've got to push this uh, fridge slide back in to access that one. But this one here, we just keep for um, more food and stuff like that. So you can see there's tons of storage there. So it works out really good. What are you cooking, Shan? What, what are you cooking? Me. Come on. <laughs> we are having banana crepes for breakfast. Shannon has just whipped up these, so on our camp kitchen, which is good. How do you like the camp kitchen? Yeah, it's the number one best item, I think. Best item? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it works out really good. A little sink on the side there. Double cooker. And we've just got this uh, piece of timber on the side there for now until we get that fridge um, put in there. So once we get the fridge put in there, it'll have the stainless steel top, which is uh, added bench space. my rustic banana crepes. <laughs> this one just scared the hell out of me. I was walking up to go to the toilet block, which is just up there. It was right on the side of the path. I just saw a movement on my uh, right side and I just jumped. All right, it's a pretty big one too, solid. A black snake. So Platypus Flats has been amazing. It's such a nice spot here in the Nimboida River. The Nimboid is super popular for whitewater rafting, but it's a great spot just to chill out and relax too. Um, you know, just kayaking, swimming in the water. It's a, it's a really nice spot. Uh, we've just been chilling out, 
um, in our camp chairs under the trees by the river, had a swim, water's cold, loads of wildlife around, um, saw three black snakes in the last couple of days, so uh, one just on the side of the track there up to the toilet. Uh, speaking of the toilets and stuff like that, there are actually pretty good toilets too, like pit toilets as far as um, national parks and things go, they're pretty well maintained. Um, campgrounds are really nice. Um, yeah, loads of wildlife, like I said, you know, the black snakes, um, goannas, uh, nice yeah, birds and things like that around to see as well if you're into bird watching. So it is, it's a great spot. It's um, definitely worth coming for a visit. Anyway, guys, I hope you like that one. Make sure you like, subscribe and hit that bell icon and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. So we're in a little bit of a jam at the moment. We're trying to get out of here. And uh, at the moment, we've only got the Santa Fe. So we're in between four wheel drives. Santa Fe's only got uh, road tires on it. And uh, coming into Platypus Flats uh, from the top of the hill, it actually comes down quite steep. And there's no warning signs to say it's going to be a steep descent, blah, blah, blah. And there's nowhere to turn around. So we, we sort of coming down that point of no return, can't turn around and get back out. And uh, anyway, now that we're leaving, we're trying to get out. We only just made it up the, uh, the first section going down to um, where, where the campgrounds are and come around the corner and then trying to get up the next section. There's no way we're going to get up there. It's a long road, like it's a couple of k's uphill and it's very steep. So waiting for the ranger, see if maybe he can pull us out or somebody else. So we just got rescued by the National Park Rangers. Thanks very much, guys. Um, they're towing our caravan back up this steep hill with the, uh, Way up there. With the LC79. So yeah, time to get a four wheel drive, I think.